Okay, so you're thinking about living or moving to Aliso Viejo and or you're thinking and considering about moving to somewhere in South County and want to know a little bit more information about a beautiful city known as Aliso Viejo in South Orange County. So if that's you, then this video is for you. Stay tuned. We're coming in that right now. Hey, what's up, you guys? If you're looking to learn everything you need to know about the wonderful, beautiful, and lovely Orange County that's eating, sleeping, playing, working, beaches, tanning, then this channel is for you. Make sure that you subscribe and you hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time a new video comes out. My name is Latrice DeLuna, and we get video, we get videos, we get text messages and emails from people just like you every single day looking to move to Orange County, and we absolutely love it. So, whether you're looking to move here in 10 days or 10 months make sure you reach out to us text us call us email us we are here to help you make a smooth transition to the lovely and beautiful orange county i'm talking about aliso viejo and aliso viejo is one of my favorite cities in orange county and that's for a couple of reasons or a couple of reasons it is very quaint it's so cute and quaint the population is only fifty-two thousand people so it's not a huge city um it is Orange County's 34th city, and it is a master plan community. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the map of Aliso Viejo so we can see exactly where it's located, right? So as we see here on the map, Aliso Viejo is located west of the 5 Freeway. And as you see, it's bordered by the Pacific Ocean, the Santa Ana Mountains, um, and another amazing city, Laguna Hills on the east. And on the north, we have the Laguna Woods area. On the west, we have Laguna Beach. And to the south, we have Laguna Niguel. So um, if you also see here from the map, there's only a couple ways that you could really get to Aliso Viejo and that is the five freeway. So with the five freeway, you can exit Alicia Parkway, you can exit La Paz, or you can exit Oso. Those are gonna be your direct routes from the five freeway. The other way is to take the toll road, and if you haven't seen any of my other videos, go take a look at it. I tell you and explain to you what a toll road is, how it works, how much it costs, but a toll road is a road that you pay for, and it cuts right on through, it's the 73, and that'll give you direct access to Aliso Viejo. So, Let's talk about all the loveliness of Aliso Viejo. So in 2009, Forbes magazine rated Aliso Viejo top 25 uh, cities to live well. It's a beautiful, amazing city for many reasons. One reason that I love is its uniqueness. A lot of the areas in Aliso Viejo, um, it makes it available to people of different socioeconomic backgrounds to live there. So they have condos there, they have single family residences, they have townhomes. So it gives you a wide array of ways to live and afford to be in South Orange County. Now, a lot of their condos, I actually almost purchased my, my first condo that I was going to buy in Aliso Viejo, or in Orange County was in Aliso Viejo, but the HOA was going through litigation and I couldn't get a loan for it, so I had to move on to another place. But that's neither here nor there. The condos, though, they are sizable. You could find three bedroom, three bathroom, and I guess this is more of a townhome, three bedroom, three bathroom, two stories, it feels, functions, and lives like a single family residence, except you're sharing a wall. Um, that is the benefit. They're 1,800, 2,000 square feet. So you're paying for a fraction of the cost of a single family home to be in like a townhome or a condo. Um, another beautiful thing about Aliso Viejo is the elevation. If you see here from the picture, as you move into and go into Aliso Viejo, you start to go up in elevation. You can see there's homes located within the hills of Aliso Viejo, and that gives you an amazing view of South County, an amazing view of Aliso Viejo just in general. So um, another fun fact about Aliso Viejo, it is the 34th city in Orange County. And it has a master plan association. And so what that means to people considering living in Michi Viejo and or the residents of Aliso Viejo is that 
you have two HOAs. At the end of the day, there's no way to slice it. There's no pretty way to put it. You have two HOAs. You have the Aliso Viejo Community Association. They take care of events, facilities, the parks. There's 21 parks that they take care of. Over 600 acres of landscape that they take care of. So also what that means is that some of the services will be provided by the AVCA, the Aliso Viejo Community Association, and then other services will be provided by your community association. So you pay two association fees and it's not expensive. Um, I've seen that the um, Aliso Viejo Community Association is about 90 bucks a quarter, 30 bucks a month. Um, and then your regular association dues, that just depends on where you live and it depends on the community. That could be anywhere from 175 bucks a month to $300 a month. That just depends on the community and where you live inside of Aliso Viejo. Another thing about Alicia Viejo that I absolutely love is the diversity. I live in Lake Forest. I, one thing that I absolutely love about Lake Forest, being me and who I am, is that it's diverse. There's a lot of diversity in Lake Forest. Well, if I had to pick another choice for diversity, that would be Aliso Viejo. Um, it's not a big city. It's only 52,000 residents, so it's not big, but it has an amazing amount of diversity. Not only that, um, let's go back to the, the association which you're gonna be paying for, that second association, the Aliso Viejo Community Association. They do things like put on events. They also have facilities for you to rent. There's a place called the Aliso Viejo Ranch that you could rent indoor and outdoor spaces on an hourly basis. People get married there, they host weddings, they host events, wine tasting things. I mean, and the place is gorgeous. Look at how beautiful this place is. And it's available to the residents and the community of Orange County. Um, another thing that they do is you have your 4th of July event that they put on annually, an Easter egg hunt event. I mean, the association is there to keep the community of Aliso Viejo just going, you know, Com providing at the end of the day, community to the residents. Okay, so some other fun things that the Aliso Viejo Community Association does is they also host the fall festival. They do summer nights um, in the park and they also do, or they do, I'm sorry, they do summer concerts and then they also do movie nights in the park. So they are the ones who are keeping, again, the community a community at the end of the day. There's also the Aliso Viejo Community Park and that park is huge it has two playgrounds there's hiking trails there's biking trails there's a baseball fields there's soccer fields um did i say two playgrounds already so that is maintained also by the aliso viejo association so when you move to orange county because there are some people who move here and they're like what is an association i'm not used to paying an association so these associations they pay for maintenance of these different facilities and the activities and just hosting and putting on activities for the city. So shopping. Okay, so you live in Aliso Viejo. The city's not huge, but where do you shop? So there's really only two main shopping areas. It's going to be the Aliso Viejo uh, Plaza where you're going to have your targets and, and all you need for your toiletries, just, you know, your Joann's, your Michael's, all those types of stores are there. And then you also have, oh, there's something in my eye. Then you also, sorry. <laughs> and then you also have the Aliso Viejo Town Center where you have dining, um, shopping, movie theaters. Uh, it's huge. It's actually one of the primary places for people to go in Aliso Viejo. And so I'm gonna show you a little video of, or a little clip of the Liso Viejo Town Center so that you can get a feel of all of the food, eateries, restaurants, fast food, gas station, banks. There's so much there um, and they're constantly redeveloping this space because it is, again, one of the main shopping places for Aliso Viejo. And as we wind down in the video, I think it's important to talk about a couple of things, location and proximity, to beaches in different areas, uh, education, and of course, 
I'm a real estate agent. We've got to talk about the housing market in Aliso Viejo. So proximity. Um, Aliso Viejo is in South Orange County. And so um, the beach, the closest beach is going to be Laguna Beach. It's going to be about four miles away, but it might take you about a good 20 to 25 minutes, uh, depending on where you live in Aliso Viejo. Um, also, to airports, to get to the airport, it's a straight shot down the 73. The 73 runs into the 405, you get on the 405, you exit MacArthur, and that's gonna probably take you about 10, 15 minutes, uh, depending on the day, depending on traffic. So you're really central to things. The closest Costco to Liso Viejo is gonna be the one in Mission Viejo. Um, and that's probably gonna take you, depending on what part of Liso Viejo you live in, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, 15 minutes at the most. You're gonna take the side streets. You could take uh, the freeway if you live off of the freeway, but you'll probably likely take side streets. So it's very central to things. Irvine is probably about another 15 minutes away. Um, San Diego, about an hour away. Los Angeles, about an hour and 15 minutes away, just depending on what part of Los Angeles you're going to. So very central location. Now. Um, one of the good things about Aliso Viejo that I love is that it's very family friendly. I've already talked about all the parks that it has, um, the events, the community events, a lot of children's events. There's the um, Soka University, which is also the Soka Performing Arts Center where they play and put on events for children. They have the symphony, they have classical, uh, jazz music, all kinds of music hosted for entertaining families and entertaining people. So it's very much a family friendly community. So it would behoove me to not talk about education. Aliso Viejo has award winning schools. At the end of the day, their schools are highly rated. Um, there's six elementary schools there two junior high schools and two high schools that are accessible to the residents of Aliso Viejo. So school system is amazing. Um, it, you, it, it's, it's top of the line. You guys are gonna have good education there. And then lastly, the housing market. So we are officially in January of 2022. It's actually January 1st, so happy new year. And as of today, um, the average or the median home price in Aliso Viejo is $822,000. And like I said before, the great thing about Aliso Viejo is that it does um, lend to different socioeconomic backgrounds and pocketbooks at the end of the day. So um, you could get a home that's a condo, you could get a home that's a townhome, or you could get a single family resident. One of the things I will tell you about Aliso Viejo is that the communities are newer. So it makes it more aesthetically pleasing to look at. The communities are newer. If you're in a single family resident track area, suburb of Aliso Viejo, your homes are gonna look nice. You're gonna come into a community where the homes look very nice. Not a ton of gated communities in Aliso Viejo, um, but nice homes, not a ton of lot size. I will say that. You don't have a bunch of yard. You, you don't have a bunch of front yard and you don't have a bunch of backyard, but you have decent sized yards and you get more bang for your buck in this area than if you were living in, let's say Irvine. You're going to get more home for what you spend in Aliso Viejo than you would in Irvine, which makes it a lot more convenient. So a lot of people are moving further south. Um, I compared Aliso Viejo in one of my videos to Rancho Santa Margarita because I really truly feel like it's one of those gems of a city that you don't know about if you don't live in South County, South Orange County. If you're moving here from a different state, we have a lot of people that have been moving here from like Jersey on the East Coast and Northern California. So if you're moving here from a different state and you don't know about the different cities, please explore. Don't settle on all the cities that you heard of, the Irvines, the Huntington's, the Newports. Look a little bit deeper and you can find some gems. So we're gonna go see the uh, Aliso Viejo Town Center. I'm gonna show you guys a little video clip of that. But if you guys didn't have any questions, you want more information about the wonderful city of Aliso Viejo, please do not hesitate to reach out. You could call us, text us, email us. We are here for you. So I'll see you guys at the end of the tour and thank you so much for watching.